this video, I'm going to show how to use Ulink NT to program the E67 ECU over the BVM with a master and a slave CPU. So this is the board of the uh, E67 and this has the master CPU here. I will remove it and we need to program the flash of this chip. Uh, this is the master CPU. This is the slave CPU which has 32 kilobytes of flash built in and we can use the uh, BDM port to program this flash as well. <clears throat> this is the uh, BDM connector for the master CPU uh, on this board here and this is the slave CPU and this is the ground. So for slave CPU we need three pins, one ground pin, one reset pin and one BDM pin. For the master CPU we have uh, nine pins out of the ten of Ulink NT are used. Um, the, the power pin is not used. So we have VDD which will detect if the, the uh, power, on, power is on the target and then there's a hardware reset pin, soft reset pin and then there is a two pin to detect the BDM state. Then there are uh, three pins here, clock, uh, data in and data out. And, and oh, don't forget the ground pin here. Now the, the, this is the power, this is the power, and this is the ground pin. On the board, these three pins and this pin is connected to 12 volt. And here is the ground pin, and you can find several other ground pins as well. So at the bottom here, this is the ground pin, and this is slave background for the slave CPU, and the slave reset pin for the programming this chip. Now the B main uh, CPU has the BDM port. This is a clock. This big pad is pro clock. This big pad is DSI, and this is DSO. This pad is edge reset and this pin is VFLS1 and VFLS0. This small pin here is S reset and the optional pin is VDD. This one will get you like 2.5 volt and this will give you the um, indication of the target is powered on. This is the setup and I have a 12 volt power supply a ground to the ground and uh, 12 volt I use this uh, clip to clip on and the U-Link NT is connected with the hub. So let's power on the unit and it's drawing 140 milliamps. Power on. So let's see, I'm using 1.18 and 1.17 is not working with this unit and I have created an E67 target. Uh, it is the same as the E38 but it's, I'm configured this way. So now I can click and it will detect the flash. So if I read This is the content of flash, so I can save as a backup. So let's call it backup. And it's in here. So let's try to erase it. So erase it. Let's verify it. So it's raised. Okay, by the way, uh, the connection of the BDM, it can, can be found by click this button. So these are the nine pins that use ground pin, uh, edge reset, S reset, and clock, data out, data in and two pins of uh, uh, VF, V, 
VFLS0 and VLS1 and VDD here. So now let's program back the data and we can write, just click this button. Oh, okay. So program finished. Let's verify if they compare pass. Yeah, so we were able to program the main CPU to make flash uh, with very little effort here. Now let's go to the slave CPU. First, we need to go to configuration and we select the, this target. And I have created an ECU slave here. And the slave CPU uh, connection will be background pin here, reset pin and the ground pin. So in here, you can see Udin can only have three pins. One is ground pin, one the reset pin, and one the uh, background pin. So. Now let's power on. And we can detect. So we did get the, the flash. Yeah, let's read it. So this will be the slave OS and the system cal and this is boot. So let's save it. Let's save as backup. Okay, now let's do a erase. So erased it. Let's uh, compare it. It's erased, so let's program this back and write. Yeah, this slave CPU only have 32 kilobyte internal flash. So even though its speed is quite slow because it's only using one wire, uh, but it's not that long. Okay, let's compare if we program passed. Good, so we are able to program using Unicanty both the master CPU and the slave CPU, slave CPU to be 32 gigabytes of flash and master CPU of two mega of flash.